This is amazing. Now we have AI research agent who is going to be super fast, generating hundreds of tokens per second. I'm going to teach you how to set up an interface like this. And then when you add a URL, this is going to research the data on the URL. Similarly, when you upload a file, it is going to generate a report, which is going to look like this. More details, conclusion, and finally references. In this way, you are able to do in-depth research and create a final report, which is more in-depth. You can also search the web and do an in-depth research. I typed research about AI in healthcare and generate report. Then it created a report like this with the reference. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about AI research agent, which is created using PhiData. In this user interface, we will have the ability to read PDFs, read data from URLs and search the web. It is going to be super fast because of Grok, which is serving the large language model, Llama 3. Then we are using Olama for embedding, Nomic embedding, and finally, Tavili for searching the internet. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this user interface and able to do in-depth research, both online and from papers. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, git clone github.com phidata hq slash phidata and then click enter. Next, let's navigate to that folder. Inside that folder, we are going to CD, cookbook, LMS, grok, AI apps, and then click enter. Now conda create hyphen and phi data python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next conda activate phi data and then click enter. In this way, we are creating a virtual environment which doesn't disturb any other application and activating that virtual environment using conda. Next pip install a hyphen requirements.txt and then click enter. Once that gets installed, export your grok api key like this and then click enter you can generate the grok api for free on their website similarly export tevily api key like this and then click enter tevily is used to do web search and it's mostly used by large language models and rag based applications now final step olama pull nomic embed text and then click enter this will download the embedding model but before doing that make sure you've downloaded olama from olama.com now considering you have docker installed on your computer which you can download from docker.com. Type docker run and this command and then click enter. I will put all the information in the description below. Then when you type docker ps, you need to see the docker container like this, which means your database, pg vector database is active. Now we are ready to run the streamlit run home.py application. This will start the user interface. Now we got two options here, rack search, rack chat. Mainly we are going to focus on rag AI research. So I'm going to click rack research. Here you got various models. I'm going to use Llama 370B model. Here you can enter the URL. I'm going to copy this URL information about AI in healthcare and then pasting it here. Now we are going to click add URL. Now it's processing the URLs. You can see at the back end, it's automatically browsing that URL and saving that URL in the knowledge base. Now I'm going to ask a question, artificial intelligence in healthcare. That's what this URL is all about. So I'm going to generate report. And here you can see the detailed report overview, advancements in medical imaging, natural language processing in healthcare, computer vision in healthcare, and finally conclusion with references. Next, we have a research paper about closing the gap to commercial multimodal models with open source suites. Now I'm going to feed this PDF data which contains loads of information and then ask questions based on this. Now clicking browse files and upload the file. Now it's processing the PDFs, which you can see here. It got divided into chunks, converted to embeddings and finally got stored in the knowledge base. So this is the process. When we load a PDF, it's getting converted to chunks and then converted to embeddings. Then it gets stored in the database. Now we are going to ask a question as a user then that information is used by the large language model to respond. In that paper, we see about InterVL 1.5. So we are going to ask questions on that. Tell me more about InterVL 1.5 and I'm going to click generate report. Now it's using the knowledge data and it's preparing a detailed report, bridging the gap, unveiling the capabilities of InterVL 1.5 in multimodal process, visual representation and multimodal capability, continuous learning strategy, flexible resolution capability, bilingual proficiency, 
and multilingual capability, evaluation and state of arts results. Finally, conclusion with references. This is amazing. Finally, we're going to see how we can use this to do internet research. So here you can see knowledge base. I'm going to click the drop down and click Tevely or web search. Now the page got loaded. Now I'm going to ask, give me latest news in regards to AI and then clicking generate report. Now it's generating the reports, advances in large language models, chain of thought, multimodal understanding, computer vision breakthroughs, implication and application, conclusion and finally reference. The whole code for this interface is written in Phi data, as you can see here. You can even modify this code based on your requirement. You can configure a different LLM provider. You can configure a different database apart from PG Vector. You can customize your own embedding system. I will leave that to you. Do let me know in the comments below how you have modified this further. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.